How to deal with rejection? That's a delicate question. To be honest, you will have to face it at some point in your life. Break up, dismissals, a potential business partner who prefers someone else, being flaked on, not getting a promotion, and many more. You probably have been through some of these, and that's completely normal. However, as they say, every dark cloud has a silver lining. And because I've been there too, I was inspired to make this video. If you want to learn how high-value men deal with rejection, listen up because I've done all the research and thinking for you, and you're about to realize that it's not as difficult as it seems. Tip number one. As a high-value man, you must acknowledge your current state, no matter how hard it may seem, and then learn from the experience to use it to your advantage in the future. Let me give you an example. If you get fired in spite of giving your best, be thankful for what that job has given you, take note of the skills you acquire, and figure out how you can provide value to the world. Most people go through life blaming others, but high-value men take responsibility and do what's under their control to succeed in every field they set their mind to. Ever heard the story of KFC? Did you know that his founder, Colonel Sanders, started this currently billion-dollar company once he became a retiree? Most retirees accept that society tells them they have worked enough and that they're too old and sick to do anything fun. Sanders didn't agree with that narrative and proved it wrong, even though he didn't have a lot of capital to start with. In essence, you must take stock and learn. Look with complete honesty at your situation and see how you can learn and improve. A victim mentality won't benefit you in any way, so the sooner you start taking action to learn from rejection, the sooner you will find the solutions you need. Tip number two. This point is related to the previous one because high value men think in terms of abundance, opportunity, and lessons. Look, they see rejection as a means of self-improvement. So for example, if you don't close that sale or don't get that job, don't stress out and instead think about the endless amount of clients or companies that want you. If a girl rejects you, you don't cry over her but rather forget about her right away because there are literally millions of women who want you as a partner. You get the idea, don't you? Believe me, high-value men know rejection more than the average person who just complies with the matrix programming. In fact, school taught us that making mistakes is wrong, and we are encouraged to be a plus students, which in reality trains us to be obedient employees. Now, when the A-plus student goes out into the real world and gets a taste of rejection, he can't handle it. In contrast, a high-value man bumped into rejection early on, so he had to handle lots of negative emotions, but came out stronger. As a consequence, when they get rejected, they quickly forget about it, let it go, and move on to the next thing. In other words, as Mark Manson said, just don't give a fuck. And that takes us to the next tip. Tip number three. Unlike betas, a high-value man can easily overcome rejection because he does not have a big ego. Let me compare the two so that you get what I mean. You see, a beta male is afraid of everyone else's opinion. In fact, he seeks external validation all the time. When he goes out, he feels like all the people around him is looking and judging him, when in reality pretty much no one gives a fuck about him, not because he's not interesting, but because people mind their own business. I always tell myself that most people will never see me again in their lives, and they're too busy with social media that they cannot pay attention to the world around them. Although we covered the social media addiction most people have on a previous video, it benefits you in certain ways. If you want to approach a girl at the bar, do it, and if she rejects you, no big deal. Why? Because she's too busy with Instagram and her own problems she will instantly forget. Understand this and get ready for a life with no fear. As a high-value man, you escape the victim mindset and break free from social programming. And talking about big egos, let me recall something important before moving on to the final tip. Oftentimes, if you're rejected, it's not because that person has anything personal against you. If you are a salesman working for a company and a prospect says he won't buy because he doesn't trust your company, he's got nothing against you. You don't blame the government, your boss, your upbringing, or anything. In essence, you don't believe there's a conspiracy against you. Just know that people do many things for multiple reasons. And now, let's move on to the final tip. Tip number four. 
To deal effectively with rejection, a high-value man learns from his past mistakes, including the negative people he dealt with. If you are surrounded with negative people who trick you into thinking you're poor, unworthy, a victim and all that, you are destined to be the next one. The saying goes, you are the sum of the five people you spend the most time with, and that's absolutely undeniable. Look, the world is not always binary, but the people who have accepted failure and negativity will say phrases like, I'm destined to be poor. It's always been like this. That could never happen. They think everything is black or white and assume that growth is impossible. That's why some teenagers are bitter and insecure, because their parents didn't teach them how to be better, but rather put them down and made them think that they're worthless. In contrast, if you surround yourself with positive individuals, you will be happier, more confident, and have a team that will support you when the odds are not in your favor. To wrap up this video, keep in mind that rejection is not a big deal, unlike what society and the mainstream media want us to believe. Remember also that the people in charge of the world want insecure individuals to control populations more easily. If you go against the current, you will give them a few headaches. The people plugged into the matrix will try to drag you down, but just by applying these tips, you will be immune to their narratives and build an excellent light for yourself. And last but not least, if you become a high-value man, rejection will simply come your way less. Make your mind your best ally. That's it for today's video. Now it's your turn. What do you think? Have you ever applied these tips? Do you consider yourself a confident man? Let me know in the comment section below. If you found this video useful, hit the like and subscribe buttons, comment and share it. See you in the next video. Till next time.